Hello, Acadiana. We interrupt your programming to bring you this special report. News 10's anchor Rob Macko is now live at the Grand Theater on Johnston Street, where in just moments, Congressman, U.S. Congressman Charles Bustani will hold a press conference. Let's check in with now, Rob. Good afternoon to you, Darla. Yes, uh, certainly a tough day for all of us here in Acadiana. Uh, we're talking about 20 hours after this horrible thing happened in the theater right behind me here. And we are joined now live by Congressman Charles Bustani. He is uh, going to be talking to me. He just came in from Washington, D.C. Congressman Bustani, thank you so much for joining me. Just what are you, what's going through your head right now? This is your hometown. This is the community that you know and love. What, what are you thinking right now? This is a, a great community, a family-oriented community. We never expect these kinds of things to happen. It's just a horrible tragedy. My prayers, my thoughts go out to the, the victims and their families. Uh, and, you know, the community is shocked by this. We're, we'll get over it, but we have to deal with it now. The key is to get the facts, understand what happened, why did this happen. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, federal cooperation right now. I just talked to Chief Kraft and the state police. They feel comfortable with all the federal assistance they're getting, but if they need help, I'm, I'm there to make sure we get it. This is a hot Thursday night schools three weeks away people are at the movie theater trying to you know you go to the movies to escape your problems to kind of have a little enjoyment a little relaxation that we have this happen in our hometown we've seen it happen in Colorado we've seen shootings happen too many shootings to count all over the country people want some answers what can the federal government do to try to to help the situation well what the federal government will do in this is help us track this guy find out what his real record was, where did he get the gun, did he get it illegally, or did he go through legal means. Uh, we just, we need those kinds of, uh, of assistance uh, because this, is, this guy is from out of state. We don't know why he was here. And so piecing all that together, you know, having the FBI and, and other uh, um, federal enforcement agencies looking at this, collecting the evidence, and working with Chief Kraft, because I'll tell you, our police force here, did an amazing job. They saved lives last night. Heroic actions uh, were taken by our police, by those in the theater. And, um, you know, out of all this tragedy, uh, we can be proud of our community the way it's, it's come together on this. But we need answers, and we're going to do all we can to get those answers. What kind of message would you send to your constituents who are having such a hard time dealing with this today? Well, it's hard. I mean, I've been in this movie theater with my family many times. All of us have. Um, innocent people, as you said, a, a Thursday evening before school gets started, and there are going to be a lot of whys. I think the most, most important way to solve a lot of that is to fully understand what happened. Um, a lot of this, things happen, and we have to have our faith in, in the good Lord, but the fact is what we can do here is get the facts. You know as well as I do this is going to get political. People are going to be calling for metal detectors, more gun control. Is any of that appropriate? Well, the, key, the important thing is not to have a knee-jerk response to this. We, we should always have a, a substantive policy discussion about what, what's best. That's why it's important to get the facts, and let's base any decisions on the facts of this case and other cases that occur. But, you know, we're a nation that looks all the way back to our founding with our Second Amendment rights. Uh, Fathers take their sons and daughters hunting, whether it's hunting deer or ducks or dove. We learn from an early age respect for guns. We learn uh, how to be responsible around guns. You don't want to punish innocent American citizens who have the right to bear arms. But there are issues where our federal laws are not being followed. We have good federal law, but if, and if it wasn't followed, and this guy got a gun uh, through quote, a legal means because somebody just didn't follow the process properly. We need to know that. Uh, likewise, we understand he had mental health problems. And we have a mental health system that's very deficient in this country. We need to get understand what can we do, what kind of policies we can put in place that will serve the mental health population better and to keep them from getting these kinds of uh, guns. Finally, Congressman, what do you say to someone out there who wants to take their kids to the movie this weekend and and now they're a little afraid to do so what do you what do you say to them well it's a natural instinct to feel fear uh, I think we have a safe community uh, I would say go to the movies it's gonna be all right Congressman Charles Costani thank you so much for joining me this afternoon
There you hear it, guys. Uh, Congressman Charles Bustani uh, just got here from Washington, D.C. Of course, uh, first thing he did was uh, met with the uh, police department and the first responders, talked to them, thanked them for their service here last night and throughout the night and today. Of course, uh, we've been here. Uh, you know, my colleagues have been here since it happened last night. Darla and I were on for four hours last night. We were passing it along to you. So for now, we're going to send it back to Darla in the studio, and I'll see you in a little while.